welcome to video number 12 SQL reporting service today we're going to learn group by all right so generally what happens is you know a lot of time in SQL we require a group by group by right so the group by is generally what we do and write at the SQL end but in SQL reporting service it makes your life so easy that you don't need to write a complex queries of group by uh, in you know the SQL so let's get started alright so I'm gonna create a report and I'm gonna call this report as uh, group by alright so I have a report and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a data set I'll click right click add data set I'm gonna call this guy as I don't know I'll call this guy as group by for now doesn't look good but let's do it alright I'm gonna click new but actually we're going to use the old generic connection which keeps on pointing at the same where you want to point right and as you can see one second what I did is actually uh, I I am creating a data set which is connecting to data source generic and which is nothing but it's connecting to my database where I have all the Northwind database and all right so it's pretty basic and next is query designer alright so this is a fun part in here generally we do is like we build queries right <clears throat> so you got two options either you go by right click add table or you got an icon over here add a table next thing the plan over here is what I want to do is looking at the Northwind database I just want to see like on a specific like you know there are sp uh, special tables like you know order then we have order details then we got like customers and we got like products all right <clears throat> so we got like these many products I mean sorry tables are around here and what I want to do is you know I want to find out like on from the order tables like on which date you know how many orders were gone to I mean and how many orders were gone what were the products and what was the name of the customer right so if I want to write that query so obviously I need to you know select all the orders then from the order table so what I'll do is like I'll select an order then I'm gonna choose the order date because I need to show on which date the shit happened right next thing I wanna uh, choose is what are the products were chosen so product ID is in here so it's fine next is I'm gonna choose the name of the customer so it's a contact name right and if you want you can choose the city if you like okay we'll take the city as well so now if I'm asking you to you know show me the results so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the execute and as you can see I'm getting two one five five records and it shows like you know uh, these was the order ID and this is the order date the product name so we are getting a lot of records but it's not very much grouped and the way we want right so anyways I'm not gonna worry too much I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna get out so next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to toolbox next I'm gonna drag a table OK then I'm gonna choose the row the first row the header row I'm gonna set the background color to olive dark olive green right next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy up where all the grouping magic happens right and I'm gonna click on report data so I can see my data set the next thing I said the requirement was I want to see on which date how many orders were gone and what were the products and it was taken by whom right so what I'll do is I'll grab this order date and as you can see there is, is you know there's a blinking in between the row groups and details I'm gonna put the order date it just in between them so as you can see it's there and it appears down there so it's pretty cool next thing I want to see what order I mean order ID is for the reference next is the product name which was sold next the contact name and I'm gonna right click add a new column to write and I'm gonna add a city that customer is from which city now simply after saving this I'm gonna do the preview and I'll see all the records so as you can see this is cool I'm getting a group by records by date 7-4-1996-7-5-1996-7-8-1996 and how many orders was placed on what product was sold what was the name of the person who bought it and where he resides 
so I'm getting too much data and it's very much segregated if you want to go one step up what I'll do is I'll delete this guy delete this column I'll stay here and what I'll do is I'll in I'm doing the grouping by order date I want to go in one more step I want to do one more level of grouping by order ID I'll save it now alright and you can see the grouping how it works so as you can see for this record for 7, 8, 9, 8, 96, there were two types of order was taken out so it has been grouped very nicely and it has shown right so you got the idea right so grouping is very easy you don't need to do any heavy lifting let the reporting service do the heavy lifting for you all you need to do is configure the things accordingly if you don't like to group by you know uh, the order ID take it out simply save it and again browse it so you can see the same old result right so this is cool in the next video we're going to do something advanced what are you going to do is like uh, I'm gonna show you some complex grouping by which you can calculate uh, you know how much uh, sale you have done how much was a grand sale was done so it will be a little I mean it's very easy but it's a little tricky so you need to remember those techniques so I hope I'll see you in the next video and if you like this video then please subscribe and give me a thumbs up to my videos thank you for watching good night and take care